welcome again on my new video on uh, filters in quick side how we can use a filter on quick side how we associate the filter with uh, parameters and uh, how we can use uh, globalize uh, filters on different sheets and different visuals uh, so let's start I just create a two to three visuals uh, for demonstrate in for the demonstration for you uh, one is uh, you can see the region wise product detail and uh, here is a detail table of uh, containing the complete detail of sale records you can see here order date order id date order priority name product region state and city and country and on the next sheet you can see here the complete detail about the customer the customer name order date category shipping date region and state uh, these are the sample data we will filter use the date filter region filter state filter and some of the other filters so let's start with the date filter and uh, uh, well, let me show you how we can use uh, add the filter just click on the any visual uh, you can see here the filters and the parameter parameter actually used to make the globalize uh, or uh, multiple uh, you can use the, the filter on multiple sh sheet by using the filter so we first start with the parameter uh, create let me enter uh, let's say start date the parameter name is we need to change here uh, actually we are mm, creating a date filter so we need to select the date and time and time granular query is day and uh, our data set is starting from let's say uh, 2012 Jan. I create a default date. Actually, our filter will um, start uh, by using this parameter. We uh, set its name is start date. Mm, create this one. Yeah, one thing. Please don't. Uh, we don't. You cannot use the underscore here just enter the numeric uh, text value restart date create and uh, we need another parameter uh, for the closing date so we will add another parameter you can uh, set its name uh, and date parameter and just uh, select the date and time and time granularity I, I, I will use the day and you can use any other thing but uh, at right now we can use date and the end of uh, our data let's say I am setting it December 30 one you can set uh, whatever you want here and create the parameter uh, right now we just create uh, two parameters one is the start date and other one is the end date uh, we are not just associating with this uh, any visual no, we are just creating a simply two parameters with the date data types let's start to associated with filters i just and just click on the filter create filter 
and choose I, uh, we want to create a filter on order date you can select any other date or other uh, uh, fields which uh, based on your requirement so I am just uh, selecting order date and you see here there are uh, icon uh, just only one is grade and other is other three is null uh, uh, let me tell you first about it the one single sign is uh, showing that we our filter will work on only this visual we are currently selecting the region wise product visual and uh, we can use it some visuals there are two visuals on this table uh, sheet so first is the region wise and another is the sales if you want to implement on both the uh, visual we can select it sale and apply and the other option is all visual on this data set if there are multiple data sets on the sheet and you are just specifying this filter uh, for the specific sheet so uh, you will select uh, this option otherwise if you want to use this filter for all the sheets available in this analysis you can choose the last one so uh, definitely we are covering uh, in this video about all the global uh, applicable uh, parameters to all uh, with the singles and uh, all type of three type of the implication so just uh, I am selecting uh, for uh, all application visuals and uh, here you can see there are a different conditions are available for the filter between after before and equal right now we are just using uh, filter between use the parameter we already created in uh, uh, right couple of minutes back so I am selecting here the peak start date it will set the start date and the end date I am just uh, checking uh, this uh, checkbox to include the last date and the first date and apply this filter you just uh, need to press the apply button you can see the filter is applied on all the sheet including this one because we are select all the the uh, applicable uh, visual to all the sheets so this is uh, there are the second step first we create the parameter and uh, other one we just uh, associate with it the date parameters and uh, uh, we can uh, you can enable disable uh, this parameter you can edit this parameter and delete the uh, filter so these are the three things we can use right uh, based on our uh, situation uh, you can another condition by using add filter condition let's say you use this filter and uh, the city uh, based on the city uh, yeah or you can use the customer ID and another field this will create an other condition actually this condition will be make the start date and end date or city is equal to this one so the filter will be applicable on the uh, multiple conditions if you want to use it and let's move uh, in, uh, next to show uh, add this filter on this sheet I have just applied this and yeah 
we uh, just go uh, forward to the parameters and select the start date add control display control name the start date and date picker this is only the one option available in quick site right now you can see here the control start date and the and date just we uh, select the parameter and add the controls on this sheet Actually, uh, we we'll just wrongly added the name, uh, the start date to end date and end date to start date. So we are just renaming it. And it, it's an it should be an end date as the parameter name apply. So just remove it and. Add it, add this control once again. And date, add. So here is my filter. Let's test it out. Is it worked or not? Just I select any date. You see here the data is changed and all the pickers are revised and just we reduce my date once again yeah you can see here the data we are filtering based on the date filter so uh, let's move into the customer and add this control on this let's name it start date and add control as and date and yeah I am just selecting June 12 to 11 yeah here I'm just creating a filter on other date as we previously created and it just select the use parameter yes start date and end date and it will the date and apply yeah uh, here is uh, just recap the whole thing once again and i hope that you will enjoy this video and uh, let's uh, show me the uh, revised steps first of all we create a parameter name you can choose any name and data types accordingly your filter i created two parameters and one filter on a sheet name order date and just enter the parameters 
where and by using the parameter with between condition the same thing we do for this visual on other sheet just we create a filter and add the start date and the end date parameters here and associate it with add the controls by using the parameter so go on you can use sheet 3 4 5 whatsoever you want you just need to add a parameter and just add the as a control on the page it will work globally let me delete this one yes so just test it out once again I am changing my filter to Jan 21 uh, Jan 1st 2013 and by reducing this parameter May 31 both the visual shows the date uh, data accordingly the parameter we select and on the other page you can see the same date are automatically changed as we did in our last page you can see here the first Jan 2013 and the same automatically change the let's see let's me change it into the fifth and this data to automatically control change by using the parameter so we create a parameter we create filters and make them globally so uh, this is uh, all now we are covering this uh, lecture see you again bye